Welcome to Excel Basics video number 15. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Basics. Hey, we want to start on the sheet tab called Date Math. We're going to talk a little bit more about Date Math and time formatting. Here's an invoice due date, and as we talked about in our last video, dates are really serial, serial numbers, the number of days since December 31st, 1899. Now, we have the invoice due date, and I want to put today's date. The keyboard shortcut for today's date is control semicolon, control semicolon. What's nice about that is you can hard, it's, it's hard coding. That's a good keyboard shortcut if you're actually doing data entry into Excel. Now, I want to calculate the number of days, and there's a lot of days. This invoice <laughs> is past due for years and years. Probably should just write it off as bad debt. Nevertheless, we want to calculate how many days. Let's say they've decided to pay it or something. We have a later date and an earlier date. We simply say equals the later date minus the earlier date, and then enter. Now, in uh, most versions of Excel, that's what you get when you a do a date formula you get formatting all it's do, all it's doing is it's sucking the the format from the cell references now in 2007 it usually doesn't it doesn't happen anymore they fix that but all we have to do is control 1 and go back to general and it shows us that it's 967 days past due Another way to do this, by the way, I'm going to control Z. The keyboard shortcut for general format is control shift tilde. Now, people that do date math or time math a lot love this. And I love this because lots of times number format uh, just totally messes everything up. So control shift and tilde. That just goes back to general format. Great keyboard shortcut. Now, let's uh, do this. Um, uh, I'm going to do the same highlight this and copy and I'm going to paste it right here I'm going to do invoice uh, due date and I'm going to get rid of that because I'm actually going to put a formula there and then this one I'm just going to uh, leave it like that now let's do a formula equals today the today function will always give us today's date and what's nice about that, different than this, here we hard coded it. Now this is a formula. So every day we can just have a little template. We could put whatever the invoice due date is. Let's say this person uh, t took this out in 9 slash 5 slash 2008. So it just, whenever I open the spreadsheet up, it will automatically give us a date. So now it's 12 15 2008. Tomorrow will be 12 16. That's using the today function. Now let's talk about time formatting. Click in the cell and type 8 colon 0, 0 space am. Now what is that? That's not a fence. That just that means you're squishing me. Give me some more room because the column's not big enough. So you come up here and double click. 8 a.m. Now, as we talked about in an earlier video, that's really the proportion of one 24-hour day. 8 divided by 24 is 0.33. Control 1 for format cells. I can go back to general, right? And it shows me. 0.33. Control 1. I'm sorry, Control Z to undo. I just want to show you, you can prove it to yourself that this really is uh, the proportion of 124 hour a day. Let's say equals 8 divided by, and I can't reach that cell, so I'm going to click there and then use my arrow key to get that, that uh, one cell above. Control Enter. Now I'm going to copy this formula over, because notice that's dividing the one above. 2 above divided by 1 above. But now watch what happens when I format this. Control 1. I go to time and I'm going to select uh, this one right here and then click OK. I'm going to fix the column widths, highlight the columns like that and then double click. Sure enough, we can take the number 0.333 and format it and that is 8 a.m. Usually we type in 8 a.m. and then what's behind the scene is the proportion of 1 24 hour a day. Now let's go do a, a payroll table here and see how this works. We have wage, and if you scroll over here, you can see the person's name, person name, wage, time in, time out, hours worked, etc. Now I'm going to highlight uh, just this right here. 
actually, I'm just going to zoom in. Now, let's do the hours work. And this is the mistake that most people do. They say equals, and then they click on the timeout, which you're supposed to do, and then minus the earlier time. Control Enter, and then you uh, double click and send it down. Because there was something to the left, that double click trick worked. Now, and then most people just come over here into this column and say equals this times and then they click on the wage. Notice those are all relative cell references, so they'll work just fine. Whoops! You can't work from 10 AM to 11 PM and get $9.75. Wow, that's terrible. Well, the mistake here is that we forgot in this column, if we highlight the whole thing in Control-1 and go back to general, we forgot that they're a proportion of one 24-hour day. These are all how long they worked in a day as a decimal that represents the proportion of one 24-hour day. So no problem. It's easy to convert this. I have the whole range highlighted and the active cell I'll hit F2 and then I will put my, my parentheses around that because minus, if I were to multiply this times 24, which I want to do, if I were to leave it like that, then it would multiply these two and subtract that, which of course is not right. So I put my parentheses, the later time minus the earlier time in parentheses times 24, and that's the trick to time. Now there's other ways to do this. You can do it with custom number formatting, but in the long run, this way is uh, um, easiest to deal with because then you never have to deal with custom number format. You can actually deal with this number. This is how many hours they work. That's how many hours they work. So now when I come right here and click, sure enough, now it's got the right number because we uh, converted that proportion of 124 hour day to eight hours and that's multiplied times the wage. So that is some time formatting and then you if you click over here on this time formatting three you can just see you can actually go all the way out to seconds right and uh, you have the uh, two numbers colon two numbers colon two numbers colon and then am or pm will tell you which one well, another mistake people do is they forget to put a pm when it's uh, you know 5 pm and then that won't work because by default the am goes in so always type it in all right we'll see you next basic video don't forget, if you want to download these, you can go to the XL is Fun YouTube channel. And on the left, scroll down, and there's the link. You click on it. There's the workbooks, the start file, and the finished one. And a free book that you can download and print out, one that I wrote that's basically written text for this video. All the other workbooks you can download here. And even uh, there's the address to go directly to my college website link and download the XL workbooks.